Welcome Aquarius to your end of the month reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please hit that big old like button and subscribe and happy Easter to everyone who celebrates Easter. Okay guys, let's see what's going on. Best messages coming out. And that lunar eclipse reading will be up ASAP. So guys, be sure to check that out. And if you're not seeing it, go ahead and hit that playlist. Everything is in the playlist. Next messages, please, for the end of the month. Next messages. King of Cups coming out, talking about that supportive leader. So you could have this King of Cups around you, or you could feel like you're being in control of your emotions right now. So being very balanced and in control, feeling very compassionate, or having this King of Cups, who could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio around you, who you feel is very compassionate and is being very supportive towards you at this moment. Um, there was some so let's see what's going on over here with this King of Cups. I do feel like it's more somebody who wants to be the supportive leader towards you. Um, definitely somebody who has sacrificed a lot and changed. It feels like they have changed and they re released a lot of negative things that they walked away from a situation. You may have felt like maybe they even escaped the situation um, due to disappointment. And now they want to come back and be more supportive towards you. Um, so you could say, yeah, well, okay, that's fine. They want to redo. They do believe that, you know what, this was where the ups and downs was, but it does feel like it was inevitable for them to walk away, have the situation, then come back and then want to support the situation. Either that or you have a friend around you who is compassionate and supporting you while this person walked away. Take it how it resonates. Um, because we do have the broken communication within a love situation. So you know, if they walked away, you're holding tight to this situation. and But it almost feels like they're walking away with their own control, um, right? With their own control and trying to take control and be fair. But they're trying to keep it kind of fair, though, too. Where is the fairness coming in? Do they feel like they were fair to you by walking away from the situation? Because it does feel like they're going to come back. Like they're going to come back because of the Knight of Swords saying, but I thought about the situation, but I was driven to succeed, but I felt like it was fair for me to leave because of the change that I had or the things that I was going through. They may have been drinking a lot. I see a lot of cups. Um, so they, you know, they may feel like, you know what, um, this is where this had to be this way. There was too much tension between us. So they do feel like they're more emotionally balanced within this situation. When they walked away, they didn't feel like they were emotionally balanced. They didn't feel like they were doing any service to you or themselves. But they were holding on to a lot of fear of the relationship. I think that they feared that they were going to totally 100% destroy this relationship if they didn't walk away. So they did have a little bit of paranoia. Look at the paranoia. Two cards of paranoia back to back. You know, the moon in reverse causes paranoia, and so does the uh, the seven of uh, wands over here in reverse. Wow, they're very overwhelmed and a little paranoid that they were going to really screw this up. Yeah, because they already felt like they were hurting you no matter what. There was too much betrayal. There was too much disloyalty on their side, and it just seems, looks like you both are, are gaining. Yeah, you both are having some kind of emotional distraughtness over here. They felt like they were comfortable doing whatever it was that they were doing until they really realized, you know what, I got to get out of this situation because to be honest to myself and be reliable to themselves, they really had to get truthful about the situation and leave because they were doing nothing but causing swords. Wow. So, you know, really causing swords. And now they're kind of like looking back at this and they're saying, okay, so, you know, how is this going to work? What am I going to do? So let's see what they're going to do now. Right? Because they, they seem like they're kind of punishing themselves. 
It looks like they've been punishing themselves for a while. It looks like they're going to hold tight to the situation. They do want to come back and let you know that this has gone, you know, that I had gone too far. I want to reconcile this situation. But they are kind of playing it small right now as they're really kind of thinking, kind of holding off and waiting for this happy return of themselves until they can actually feel like they can give you a happy surprise, give you that comfort that you needed, be that person that you used to know. They don't feel like you know them right now. They don't even feel like they know themselves. So there is some kind of a message that they want to inform you, but they want you to know that they're coming back and they want to be, for a lot of you, they want to be a new love. They want to renew this as your new love, bringing this relationship to a, the old relationship to a closure so that you can have like a new refreshed love. Let's start from the beginning. That's kind of what that is, right? I want to come in as Prince Charming in my own way. Yes, absolutely. Coming in as Prince Charming in my own way. Because I want you to understand, right, that I have changed my ways. For some of you, this person may have walked off and went to rehab. Or they may have went to, they may have walked away and ended up in jail. Like they got picked up and went to jail. Like I walked away from you. I went to my bro's house and I ended up in jail like a week later type of scenario. And when I was in jail, I got sober and I realized what the hell is going on. I got a lot of jail cards over here. And now they're realizing what torments that they put themselves in to for you, themselves and everybody around them. Or someone has gone to rehab. They've gone somewhere. Something's going on where they had this great awakening. Maybe they're going to AA classes, right? Alcohols Anonymous. NA classes. Maybe they were, you know, into the NA stuff. I don't even know if I can say that on the channel, but you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, right? It's the heavy, the heavy drug area right to get clean um so however it is it feels like somebody for some for a lot of i don't know this could be for a lot of it feels like they got clean and sober now they want to come back as the person you used to know and love before all this happened they want to come back as like a prince charming it could even be a woman as well come back as the woman that you used to love I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm getting that all over this reading. That some, they went somewhere and got clean or got their sh their mind together. You know what I mean? Maybe they just had to get their mind straight. If they're not drinking or doing drugs, maybe it's just getting the head straight. But they say they're following their heart because they know... So they are coming back as the King of, of Cups. Now, there could be another King of Cups as well. It could be another person in your life. You might even be saying, this is my new love. I don't need this shit, right? Take it how it resonates, right? Because the King of Cups over here is an energy. I can see all kinds of different scenarios, right? Because you're in control of the situation. You tolerated all the shit that you, you know, were only going to tolerate for so long. But you also have this sensitive leader, or you are. So take that however it is. But look, they've made a transformation. They've changed their ways. And that's crazy because the very beginning of the thing was I've surrendered and changed. I need to change my ways. I need to release this. I, I'm thinking. See, I've thought about how I am and what I need to do when I'm a wreck. I'm literally a wreck over here. And I can see that they were treating every, you know, maybe not just you badly, but maybe they're treating everyone, you know, badly. They've really changed their ways and they want to come and, yeah, they want to celebrate life with you. This is your husband or your wife. They want to come have this reunion with you. You, No matter what, it's a reunion. They want to have a reunion with you. They want to engage with you. They want to show you, you know, that they're free from whatever was holding them down, making them into this person they did not want to be. And they want to come back to show you this now. It's on you whether or not. I mean, I know the messages are going to be, I already see half of them. I don't give a boo, 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 boo. They can do whatever they want. I see it. I see it. It's going to be, you know, it's up to you. 
on how you feel about the situation. Everybody's situation is going to be different. Maybe you're waiting for them to change and you're ready to take them back. And then some of you are like, hell no, I will not do that. That's why I'm not even going to ask Spirit what you're going to do. I mean, for the cross watcher, I don't know, man. You know? Because, I mean, if you know that that's, you know, that's you, you're just going to, I don't know. Look, let's, let's, let's ask two questions. How about, let's do it this way. Because I know cross watchers, I, I can't really diss the cross watchers. I got so many cross watchers. Okay, let's see what's going on. For those who don't want this person back, here we go. Ready? We'll make two sets. For those of you who do not want this person back, give me the cards. You've already found your happiness and you achieved your Ten of Pentacles already. You already have your Nine of Cups and your Ten of Cups. You already feel satisfied and you do not want your ex back. <laughs> there you go. There's the answer. I've already achieved what I want and I do not want the past back. Okay. Gonna, okay. Do not want the past back. No, thank you. Put the past card back in because what if it comes up again? That'll be so cool. Okay. But it'll have to come back right up sight, right up right. So let's see. Okay. So for those of you who want your ex back, because I love them and I want to build a relationship with them. And some of you might already be married. I want to build and love them. I've been waiting for them to return. Yep. Because I have the Ace of Cups. I want to build this. I want to love you. I want this overall feeling. We do. And we are connected. Wow. Wow. So it just depends, you know. It's just that you were waiting for them to get strong. Build that courage. Come back to me. Right? And for some of you, you have to even say that. Some of you couldn't. It might not even be love. So we could even put it that in the area. Maybe it's your kids and you're waiting. So, I mean, you know. A family member or something, too. So, you know, maybe that was a good idea that I did it that way. I just thought about that. Like, wait a minute, it's not always love. Love can also be the love of family, friends, people. We actually want them to get some damn help, go to rehab. Please, son. The reason I said that was because the sun card came out. This is a child. This is a youth. Some of you could say, this is my son, and I need them to get healthy. Yes, please. I need them back, right? Okay. I mean, absolutely, right? I mean, even our own kids can hurt us. Yeah, but whatever it is, though, yeah. You're going to get this information. You might even get this information that they just got out or that they are coming back around, right? Or they're coming towards you for some of you. Yes, definitely coming towards you. So some of you might even get this information that they are coming towards you and that they're, you know, that they have gotten past their personal setbacks, that they have grown past all of the things for a lot of you, it's really drinking. I really see a lot of drinking. Um, but they have really found themselves and that they're making new chapters and new ways for their life. And it's like, you know, even if you don't want them back, I mean, what an accomplishment that is anyways. You know, I mean, because even it's like, I don't want them back. They can do whatever. But you know what? Good for them. I'm so glad that they got healthy, right? It doesn't mean they have to be with me, but thank God they got healthy, right? For their family members, for their friends, for their children, whoever, right? Okay, my friends. So, yeah, we do see health, too. It's just, like I said, it's going to depend on, you know, which way you want to juggle it on how you feel about the situation. Okay. Beautiful reading. Let's see. Overall message. You know what? We're going to use an angel card. Overall message, please, for this reading, no matter what. It's like the darkness that meets the light. Definitely in this card. Or in this reading, excuse me. <clears throat> some kind of sobriety for a lot of you so just remain positive about the situation it's up to you thank you because that's really what it is it's up to you on how you want to deal with the situation right we already went through that so just remain positive everything's going to be fine right because this person has had recovery and they could be coming toward you in the next few weeks so literally saying that if they don't come to you now it will probably be within the next few weeks, right? So, okay. Okay, my friends. Till next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.